Let's stay with Matters Crime. And a young boy who was shot last night during the killing of a Mombasa businessman has lost his leg. Four-year-old Ali, who was shot together with his father in Changamwe, had his leg amputated after a bullet destroyed his left leg. Police believe the gunmen were targeting businessman Shahid Bat, who was killed in the incident. Ferdinand Omondi reports. At the Bomo Hospital in Chani, Mombasa, four-year-old Ali is dead asleep. But when he wakes up, he will find out he is missing one leg, which was amputated after being badly damaged by a bullet. The boy's uncle says he was with Ali last evening, together with two others near the airport road, on a routine trip to fetch water in a pickup when the evening was interrupted by gunshots. <laughs> According to Ali, they sped off in the other direction towards the police station only a few meters away, but that is when he noticed something was wrong. They had been shot and he noticed the bullet had nearly severed young Ali's leg. He says he limped onto his brother's house for cover only to be surrounded by police. What followed, Ali says, was a dramatic siege by police who he claims treated them like suspects in the shooting as they pleaded their innocence. Asa simu zinaita, lakini waliko metu, pati ya warning to spoke a simu. Otherwise, mtu kipoke a simu wala to shoot. Fahad says the police siege lasted at least 45 minutes before they were eventually allowed to rush to Bomo Hospital where doctors ruled young Ali's leg could not be saved. Meanwhile, at the main scene of crime, it turned out that businessman Shahid Bhatt was the main target. At least 30 bullets were rained on his head from the driver's side window. He died instantly and his body taken to Pandia Hospital Mortuary. Mombasa County Commander Robert Kitur explained that the thugs who shot Bhatt were the same ones who shot at the pickup as they were escaping. <laughs> walikuwa kwa pick up wa ketoroka and i'm no i'm confirming to you that there was one child who was injured and also uh, the father uh, we have taken them to the hospital there were no other injuries kitur's explanation suggests fahad and his son were innocent persons caught in police chase no mention was made that they were initially held as suspects. Ali's family is now convinced that it was the police who in fact shot at them. Sasa na wao wakabidi wakageuza gari, rudi kule kule kwa kaka yao kwa wamesesi. Asima ndo tukakumbana na wama polisi wakatupigia risasi. Sasa watutu wenye watamu kwa sema ma polisi wantupigia bunduki. Sasa na wao wasema kuwa si wao na kisha wambewa wao ndio wausika. Several police officers from the administration police's rapid deployment unit were noticed near the police station where the gunshots were heard. But the county commander says they responded to protect the police station after a scare that it might have been attacked. <laughs> The two stories further complicate a scenario in which yet another person has been killed in Mombasa, piling on the numbers of unsolved murders. What is certain is that four-year-old Ali will grow up with one leg and the family of Shahid Bhatt has lost its head in one of the most brutal ways. In December last year, Shahid Bhatt was arraigned in a Mombasa court and charged with terrorism and incitement to violence. He was released on a 100,000 shillings bail. Shahid was a successful businessman with an abrasive reputation. His most famous investment was the modern cost bus and truck transport business. But he courted controversy and was reputed to rub many shoulders the wrong way. Shahid is expected to be buried on Sunday.
It's an astonishing development that has sent shockwaves throughout Mombasa. Only a few hours earlier, the county commissioner and the governor were exchanging bitter words in different functions over rising security in Mombasa. The bone of contention was the use of over 40 police cars issued by Joho and friends in the hope of curbing insecurity. We have civilian drivers who are speed is under control over these vehicles. Sasa wewe, wewe ni, ni uzembe gani, driver wa manispa ni mmoja. Pale nani kuna maskari watatu wenu, wenye bunduki. Asa hamu perform, hamu perform vipi. Civilian driver kwa kiembeni, e, OSPD ya kianza kumutafuta, hapatikani kwa simu, hamezima simu. Tutatua madrava wetu, wekini wenu. Petroli yetu tutatua, tafteni yenu. Matairi yetu tutawacha kuwapa, tafteni yenu. The impasse has seen the governor threaten to withdraw all the vehicles he donated altogether. But even more glaring were comments that appear to suggest the two centers of power were derailing each other. The problem we have in these counties, when arrest criminal, we kandani, the next day, watu wanachangia yeye, wanatoka. That's one. Ye kazi yake kila siku, ni kutoa warning, kuongia katika runinga. Na li kuambia wendo spokesman wa Mombasa. Security is, however, the preserve of the central government, and statistics suggest it is failing miserably. Only six days ago, a Russian tourist was murdered in Mombasa while touring Fort Jesus. Over 30 people have been murdered in the past two years in Mombasa alone without anyone being brought to book. Ferdinand Mondi, KTN, Mombasa.